Welcome back to this so-called unicorn dungeon. I don't know what unicorns have to do with freaking miracle magnets and all that stuff, but we got our, our hook shot variation now. So that's good. Instead of a switch hook, we get this guy, and he's still got more keys to get, and he's like, I forget, something like four or five keys we're gonna get, and then hit up the mini, mini boss. That's good times. Speaking of keys. There's one down. So a little bit of backtracking. We're gonna pass by the dungeon entrance and some several rooms we've been in before. So that's all good. Look, look at that. Oh ho. Look at me go. We haven't taken that left hard hand cart yet. My health is running pretty low. I don't like the looks of that. I'll just mash any. Oh, oh I don't want to go there yet. I was just killing bats. I want to go to the left first. There's something I need there. Look at me wasting all your time. Stealing your internet. Oh, oh, I wanted that hard. Yeah, here we go that you can get here once you have the glove. Oh, this part's tricky. If you let go of the magnet while you're on this thing, it'll uh, drop you in the hole. You gotta switch to the other pole. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I was <clears throat> that looked like it was committing a suicide. I was actually trying to magnet on the enemy. Oh, see in there I turned around. Oh, I'm just screwing this up wholly and wholeheartedly here. Yeah, see if you turn around, around and use it, the opposite thing happens again. Okay, I wish I had my level 2 sword. I could just sm smash all these guys with my sword, but I gotta lift. Notice that the Power Glove doesn't have a level number on it. It's level... there is only one level of it in this game. There's no level 2, you can tell. So that's interesting. Unlike the shield of the boomerang and the feather, surprisingly. But I think I've mentioned that before, so... Oh, check these two. Yeah, mini boss isn't hard, it's just a, you know, kill or be killed kind of fight, but... It can be painful, so I'm getting ready for that. I guess I should have my glove equipped, but... Okay, now we can go north. For some unexplored regions. And this key over here we're going to be getting soon as well. on to you and you can't move. Cool. And bats when you walk into them because you're being a douche. <laughs> anyway. This part's pretty easy. Yeah, there's a magne magnetic ball in here that appears after you... No, not after you kill that. There we go. But it's pretty easy. You can just move it side to side whenever you want. You know, do whatever. We'll be coming in from that door eventually, but not for a while. Let's just get that get that out of the way. Eventually we'll be coming out that door and we don't want to get trapped, so... Yeah, this is right, okay. Okay, some more backtracking here. More backtracking. Whoa. Whoa. Back to that underground passage that we were in um, previously. And this one is unique because I think as I mentioned before it has three exits. Now we take them all. Oh man. Yeah, I was using here a mean trick where you just hold your sword out, then you don't get the rebound. Normally, if you hit this guy, 
Or maybe not. I thought he threw you back, but maybe that's just because he died. I thought, like, you would bounce off of him. He doesn't bounce, but you do. Anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need bombs here, too. To, uh, slay some craft blocks. I remember. A little tricky going backwards. There might be another way to go through here. Like there might be another way to get to this place that I'm going. I'm not sure, but... Anyway, we go take the middle, middle exit here. We're going to take the far right-hand one. I think I've been up this one before. Yeah, I think I have. No, well, maybe not. Oh, yeah, maybe I have. I just couldn't go, uh... I just couldn't go across this pit before. That's the difference. Aha. That's the difference. <clears throat> and the mini boss, which I guess I could have hit up earlier at any time. He's just protected by a locked door. And you need the glove to get to him, of course. But I have four keys now, so I'm not going to have to backtrack to get all those guys. Um, you could use the Texas Seeds here to dodge. Um, the shield, I'm pretty sure, is ineffective. Boomerang is ineffective. But I like the feather, because you can just jump over. Pretty much just jump over. Sometimes you can get in two hits if you're in quick enough. Usually it's just one. Because he's so fast. But you can pretty much jump over him every time. A couple different moves he does. It's a straight across one, sometimes he goes in circles, diagonals. See there he's going he's kind of in circles around the tiles. So it only really deadly the first time you fight him if you're not sure what to do, otherwise he's pretty straightforward. Ow. Or if the tail's on the wrong side, kind of alternates it. This is where all these extra heart pieces come in handy, in places like this. Well, I guess I could have been more careful there, but... Good to go. Don't jump in the wharf or you won't get your fairy there. I always saw the fairies in this game look more like a bumblebee. They're all crumbled up and funny looking. Anyway. Locked block over there, but I'm not going to go that way yet. Fireballs. See? I need to 
further when you can do that. Wow, I'm, whoa, I'm out of time here. I'm about about to die as well, but I'm out of time, that's the more important thing. Wait, let me clear this thing with fireball so I don't die when I unpause. Okay, I was a little careless there, so yeah, maybe don't use the gloves on those guys. And just, because otherwise they'll just kill you. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Anyway, I'm off, so...